All right, what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to practice finding the percent increase of a number. The first example reads that we have to figure out what a 25% increase of 48 is. Now, we know that 48 is going to increase, so our answer has to be something larger than 48. Well, there's a couple of ways to approach a percent increase problem. One way is people like to just find the percent given of a number first, and then once they have found that percent, they like to add it to the original number. For example, 25% is the same thing as 1 fourth. And 1 fourth of 48 is equal to 12. So then we can take 12 and add it to 48, which would equal 60. So a 25% increase of 48 would result in a total of 60. Now here's the way I like to approach a percent increase. Well, we know that we have to consider the original amount. So we know that the entire amount of 48 is 100%. And we have to add on to that 25% more. So considering that, what I like to do is I like to write 125% as a decimal, which is 1.25. And then we multiply that by the original amount. And we're still going to end up with a total of 60. All right. so. 8 times 5 is 40, carry the 4. 8 times 2 is 16, plus 4 is 20. We carry the 2. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 2 is 10. And we put a 0 here. And 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10. And 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5. So if we add up all of these columns, we have a total of 60 once we put our decimal in the correct place. Now this one right here is more mental math though, but a lot of times you're going to get problems where you're not going to be able to just find the quarter of something and then add that onto the original amount. So what you can do is you can take the percent given, but automatically add that to 100. So think about a 25% increase as being 125% of 48. All right, now to find a 40% increase of 56, what we do is we add 100% to 40% for a total of 140%. And we write that as its decimal equivalent, and then we multiply by 56. All right, so we have 6 times 140, which is going to be 840. And then we have 5 times 140, which is going to be 700. And then we add our digits together, and that gives us a total of 78.4. All right, now a 50% increase is pretty easy. To find a 50% increase, all you have to do is take your original amount and cut it in half. Well, half of 64 is 32. So we can take our original amount, 64, and we can just add 32 to that amount, which in this case gives us. 96. Now, if you wanted to show the work, you would add 50% to 100 and write that as a decimal, which is 1.50, but we actually don't need that zero right there. Then we can just multiply 1.5 by 64. And 4 times 15 is 60. Put a zero here. And 6 times 15 is 90. And then when we add everything together, we get a 9, a 6, and a 0. And then we put our decimal right here. All right, now a 75% increase of 80 can be considered mental math. It kind of depends on how good you are at visualizing things. Um, so what I like to do in my head is think about 80 as a total circle. And because we have 75%, which is really the same thing as 3 quarters, I like to visualize what is 3 quarters of 80. So I kind of like to divide 80 into 4 equal parts in my head, which would give me 20 in each quarter. But really what we want is 3 of those quarters. So in my head, I just add 20 to 20 to 20, which is 60. So we would say that 75% of 80 is 60, but we still have to add 60 to the original amount of 80 which would give us a total of 140. Now to show the work, we would do 1.75 times 80. 
and multiply that out really quick. I drop the zero and go right to this eight. Eight times five is 40. That's 56 plus four is 60. And eight times one is eight plus six is 14. And once we put our decimal in the proper position, you can see that we still end up with 140. All right, now anytime you have a 100% increase in something, that means that something is just being doubled. So let's just take 25 and double it, and that's going to be equal to 50. Now remember, whenever you're finding the percent increase of something, you have to consider the original amount. So it's 25 plus 100% of that 25, which is 25. So you're essentially just doubling that number. Now, a 150% increase is the same thing as multiplying something by two and a half times. So one way we can think about this is we know that one group of 30 is 30 and half a group of 30 is 15. So if you add 30 and 15 together, that's 45. So 150% of 30 would be 45. And then you would add 45 to the original amount of 30, which would give you 75. But let's just go ahead and show the work on this one. So remember, with the percent increase, you're taking the given percent and you're adding 100 to it. So really, we want to calculate what 250% of 30 is. So we're going to write 250% as a decimal, which would be 2.50, but we, we really don't need that zero at the end. And we're going to multiply that by 30. We drop the zero straight down and we multiply three by 25, which is 75. And we put our decimal right here, showing that we still come up with a total of 75. And for this last example here, we have to find what a 200% increase of 12 is. Now, if 100% is doubling something, then 200% is really just tripling something. So if we took the 200% and we also add the 100%, which just means the original amount to that, that is a total of 300%, which just means we're tripling something because 300 written as its decimal equivalent is three point nothing or just three. So really we're just multiplying 12 by three, which is a total of 36. All right, so that was just a quick intro on how you can find the percent increase of a number. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can become notified as new tutorials become available.